Oh, hello. Come with me on an air-raising journey as I tell you a spine-tingling story about the One Nation Party's many ghost candidates from whom no voter has seen nor heard since registration's closed. Behold, the mysterious Richard Thomas running in the seat of New England. This boy's kept a lower profile than that street scribbler Banksy. When questioned about disappearing Dickie, a spokesperson for One Nation was unable to provide any biographical details other than that he worked in sales. <laughs> Hear the terrifying tale of Narelle Seymour, the famous invisible lady haunting the seat of Hughes, of whom no one has seen hide nor air. So untraceable, not even Craig Kelly could text her. <laughs> the only trace we do have of her is a candidate eligibility form, which scholars are still trying to decode because according to the news rags, the form contained very little information, apart from a mistyped sentence which read, husband was, is an Australina born citizen. Sounds like what the Australian Prime Minister might call a loose unit. And if that didn't send a shudder up your democracy sausage, here's something that'll cause even the most teal colored voter to turn as white as a sheet. Earlier this year, One Nation pledged to curse every one of the 151 seats in the House of Reps with a candidate. But how many of them are ghosts, I hear you ask? Well, so far the ABC has counted about a dozen. And they say none is more nightmarish than the diabolical double candidate who's accused of running in two different electorates in two different states for two different parties. And it's double, double toil and trouble for this two-headed beast as he's been referred to the Bobbies at the AFP with his last reported words being that he was, quote, massively annoyed. But how to explain this phantasmic phenomenon? Well, this ghastly gossip will cover you in goosebumps, but rumour has it that the scarlet-haired leader of One Nation, who haunts the hallowed halls of power, is actually dead. If you are seeing me now, it means I have been murdered. Well, what do you make of that? Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.